Hi guys, it's Miss B. I am doing a different kind of video this week. I am doing a video about living in the country. Um, you know, where we live, it's more suburban, urban, um, city-like. But when you live in the country, things are done a little bit differently out here. There's different kind of animals, different kind of pets for animals, different kind of scenery, just so many differences um, compared to where we live versus living in the country. So I am going to be showing you guys all around the property and um, some of the cool things that I have learned while being in the country. So let's go exploring. Okay, this is the driveway. The driveway is so long that you can't even see where the end of the road is. So you know how if you have a house, your driveway is really not that long. This driveway goes all the way to the end of the road. And you can see when you're driving up the driveway, you have such a beautiful view of the trees lining both sides. And this isn't even just the end of the driveway. If you keep going this way, you could all say hi to Sierra. She's over there in the little area. Hi, Sierra. You keep going on the driveway and there's the end right there of the driveway. So this is a super, super long driveway. A big concrete well. Um, if you look into this hole, this is the cover for the hole, but if you look down into this hole, normally, you can see that there is water in the well. This water gets pumped into the house, so when you turn on your water, the water that you're getting is coming from this giant well that goes way down deep into the ground. So another thing about living out in the country is you have to have a propane tank. Um, because the land is so large that you can't pipe gas to your actual house. So they have to come in and bring this giant tank that you can see, it's really big, um, and they have to come and fill it periodically to make sure that you always have gas in your house to keep it warm or use your stove or run your dryer, things like that. So we don't have these big propane tanks at home because we have the underground piping for gas for our heat during the winter but here you need to have this propane tank now you might be wondering why I'm videoing a dumpster well you know where we live we have garbage cans that get dumped once a week but when you live in the country they don't have weekly garbage pickup so you have to have a dumpster that only gets picked up twice a month so you have to make sure that you only throw away so much so that way you're not overflowing because if your garbage is overflowing or you don't close the top lids of the garbage can the animals will come and will try to rip up all the garbage and spread it around everywhere and now you're stuck cleaning it all up so we just thought it was a good point you know to kind of help you understand that when you're living in the middle of nowhere there's certain things that you are so used to living where we live that you don't have living in the country so here's the lawnmower um, as you can see this is definitely not a push lawnmower that some of you guys might have at home. Um, this one, you ride on it um, and go around and cut the grass. It's pretty big. Um, it has, you know, some cool features. Um, it's really important to have a lawnmower that has a wide front for cutting because that means that you don't have to take as many passes. And when you're cutting acres and acres of land, as you guys can see, it that's here that really makes a difference. And so I just wanted to show you guys the tractor. And this is the tractor that we keep in the shed right over there when it gets wet outside, raining, or in the winter. So 
there it is. Just another thing to point out, while I was putting the cover back on the tractor, I realized there was this giant spider that is like super giant, like here's my finger and there's the spider. So really huge. Just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the enormous creatures that live in the country. And living out in the country, you tend to have to have some equipment that you normally wouldn't have if you were living in the city or the suburbs. So we have this shed here. Uh, it's just one of the outbuildings. There's about three or four outbuildings, but we'll just kind of show you this one. Here's a shed here where we keep the tractor in the winter, um, you know, or if it's raining, just some extra storage. Um, and then over here, we have our wheelbarrow, which we put to good use this past weekend when we were working on some projects. Over here, you'll see, there is a little wash basin that you can use if you're planting and, you know, your hands are a little bit dirty. Um, this is the golf cart that we also use to get around the property. And then this huge trailer here, you know, you're probably thinking, well, why is there such a big trailer? Well, we have been cutting lots and lots of trees here. And so it really helps to have a trailer because you can throw those big branches down, you know, into the trailer and then drive them to, you know, the big burn pile that we have um, so that we can get rid of the branches. And then over there is a super old tractor um, that does still work. Um, uh, we keep it covered. It was raining on the weekend, so uh, we did have a cover on it, but um, we have it uncovered now and it does work for scooping um, if you have to move dirt or, you know, you're digging something out. So that's pretty helpful too. This is how we get around. <laughs> this is a four wheeler. Um, or an ATV, an all-terrain vehicle. Um, it just kind of helps with walking back and forth from the lake to the house because it's a pretty far walk. Or if you want to dump out the garbage, you know, that's a pretty far walk too. Um, so it helps. And sometimes, you know, we just ride the trails because there's about 125 acres of land here. So there are some trails in the woods and so this is just kind of a fun way to explore all the property and just have a nice relaxing day all right guys here we are at the chicken coop and i am going to go in and let out the chickens you can see they have a little area here where they have some water bowls and just a place to kind of walk around and so we're gonna go through this little gate and in through the door. We're gonna open up the door. And here we go. Here's the chickens. There's one male and one female. Um, so the hen and the rooster. And if you go inside, you can see that the floor is made of pieces of pine shavings. And then they have their bucket here that has their food that they can eat and then their bucket here is their water bucket and so I'm going to make sure that they have fresh water to drink for today so we'll get out any of the pine shavings that they may have dropped in there um, and make sure that their water is clean but this is kind of where they hang out you can see at the top there's some lights warming lights for when it gets really cold out and then they like to stand on these wood planks and kind of just hang out and make noise all day um, and then they can also sit in here if they'd like it's just another area for them to kind of hang out um, but this is it so you guys get to meet the chickens you can hear them kind of make a noise what's up guys So those are the chickens. Glad you got to meet them. Okay you guys, here are the fish. Super creepy looking fish. 
Um, I don't know what kind of fish they are. I just know that they kind of scare me a little because of how they look. Um, I don't think that they would hurt people, um, but they just are a little bit creepy. So I have to feed these fish every couple days. So like every three, two to three days, um, make sure that they have food and make sure that they're doing okay. So, but here's the fish, two big creepy looking fish. <laughs> so here's our picnic area that we can go and have bonfires. You can see it's fairly large. There's a lot of space to walk around and relax. There's a picnic table here. When you walk closer, you can see it. <clears throat> it's really pretty this time of year. As you can see, the leaves are changing. So it's nice to look at. There's a little fire pit here where we have fires. So it's just another fun little place to go and relax on the property. Lots of space, really pretty, very peaceful. You can hear the birds and the bugs. Now this is my favorite spot that's here. This is the lake that's on the property. It's fairly big. Uh, the lake is about 25 acres. So 25 acres is really, really big. Um, it's probably about a block, I would say. Um, it is really nice, so pretty and peaceful. There are fish in this lake. Um, there's a boat that we use to go out on the lake. We have some fishing poles and we, you know, just relax on a hot summer day. It's really pretty. Um, you can see how there's some of these kind of bushes here. And so uh, at the end of the season, at the end of you know, like the end of summer, beginning of fall, um, we have to go around and make sure that we take these down so that way um, they don't grow back in the spring, you know, so so tall and so thick um, to make sure that we can actually see into the lake and are able to fish from the shoreline here. Um, I am on a dock right now, as you can see. So there is a dock to fish off of and to boat off of. Okay, so this is the top of the dam. Um, this is a different view of the lake. So you can kind of see in the distance is the dock I was standing on earlier. Um, this is just giving you a different kind of view of the lake. And then you can see I brought Sierra with me. Um, it's just a little pathway that we take our four-wheeler on and then just some more of the woods that you can see so pretty all the way around that's the pathway back to the house and the top of the lake and then here's the fishing boat that we can take out um, to go fishing on the lake there is a little area that we can put the boat in the water um, you just kind of have to roll it back and then we go into that opening right here as you can see so we can get the boat in the water and then fish for however long we decide to fish for today we are out on the boat in the lake enjoying the nice day and the beautiful fall colors that are happening right now it's a nice relaxing day on the boat Here's another area of the lake that we're exploring today. So we're out on our nice relaxing boat ride. <laughs> All of a sudden a storm blows in and now it's like raining leaves and there's a few raindrops coming. my tour of living in the country I hope you enjoyed it um, I love it here it's so beautiful just so peaceful and quiet um, if you have any questions please feel free to let me know um, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel so you always get the latest content but other than that have a great day bye